In the midst of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, news of basketball player Brittany Griner's detainment on drug charges became public on Saturday. The Russian government announced that it had detained Griner at Sheremetyevo International Airport near Moscow for allegedly transporting vape cartridges containing hashish oil in her luggage. The exact timing of her arrest is not clear, but the Russian state news agency TASS reported that it took place in February, and the government has released video of what it says is Griner's detainment. At home, Griner is a seven-time WNBA All-Star Center who plays for the Phoenix Mercury. But like many other WNBA stars, Griner heads overseas during the WNBA's off-season to make more money. Griner plays for UMMC Ekaterinburg, as does fellow WNBA star and Mercury teammate Diana Taurasi. As of a union agreement signed in 2020, the average income of a WNBA player was less than $130, with salaries maxing out somewhere around $500. It's a stark contrast to the salaries earned by top male NBA players which often go up to tens of millions of dollars. For female players, the salaries offered by foreign leagues can be a real draw. As of 2015, UMMC Ekaterinburg was paying Tarasi a reported $1.5 million per season. When Griner was signed to Ekaterinburg, it was also not long after both she and her former wife, Glory Johnson, a former WNBA player, were both arrested on domestic violence charges. Tarasi, too, had gotten into legal troubles, working in Russia allowed them both a chance to step out of the American spotlight. But Griner's Russian team may have its own issues with American media attention. UMMC Ekaterinburg is owned by Uzbek-born businessman Iskander Mikhmadov. Mikhmadov has been named as one of the oligarchs with ties to Russian President Vladimir Putin within the Putin Accountability Act that is being considered by Congress.